If you're curious about 2019 Nissan Titan Pro 4X, like the one I have up there, tied this trailer, tied this chassis, tied this other chassis, well, I'm going to tell you five good things and five, well, not so good things about it. But first, I'm going to channel my inner red, red green here and uh, get this uh, 66 chassis off the trailer. Kind of a rough ride out here and the uh, trailer didn't do so hot. And a little bit too off canter here on the uh, bed of the trailer. So I thought I'd do a little red green style and uh, hook it up to the chassis and pull like hell. See what happens. You know, a little redneckery. So let's see if they can go exceedingly well or well, exceedingly poorly. So here we go. Let's, let's have some fun. Well, crap, I'm gonna keep working on this. All right, maybe a lesson for you. Straps suck, chain's better. Let's give this one a go. <laughs> Hey, it's Tomas Jalal, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and my passion is trucks and SUVs. That's your passion too. Remember to hit subscribe below, hit bell notification, be notified of new videos put out like this one. If you didn't know, this is the 2019 Nissan Titan Pro 4X. Well, you probably didn't know because I didn't tell you. Anyways, 2019 Nissan Titan Pro 4X. Basically, it's the off-road version of the base half-ton Nissan Titan builds. I have 18-inch all-terrain tires. I have Bilstein shocks. I got a radiator skid plate and I got electronic locking differential to go with this bad boy. So this is the V8, 390 horsepower, 394 foot-pounds of torque. It's available in the crew cab and king cab only. The maximum towing capacity when properly equipped is 9,230 pounds, 1,610 pounds maximum payload capacity when you do the properly equipped. The biggest thing with the Titan is that all Titan models are covered with a, what they call America's Best Warranty. Da -da -da. Basically, it's bumper-to-bumper -bumper coverage of five years, 100,000 miles, whichever comes first. That is the best warranty in the industry. The crew cab is a five and a half foot bed. King cab comes with a six and a half foot bed. So I have to tell you, one of the things that really got my attention on this is this beautiful color. This is amazing color. It's called a midnight pine. It's actually a dark green, and at night it looks black. During the day, it sometimes looks black. And then in different light, you can see this really beautiful green color in here. I really like this color. I mean, the color is amazing. Okay, for those of you that have watched this channel for a while, you know I'm a big proponent about popping the hood and talking about it. Like, how do you access stuff? How does the engine sound? All that kind of stuff. And so this has got the big, like I said, 18 inch tires on it. So I'm a little bit challenged trying to get to the oil. They've made a little inlet here to make it a little bit easier for me to get to, but yeah, I still would need a ladder to get in there and check the oil. You know what? Yeah, I can check the oil all right. I just need some, uh, just need a growth spurt to be able to fill the oil. But you know, the antifreeze is easy to get to, battery's easy to get to, so, Kind of mixed on that. I do like the fact that I can get to the dipstick, but I don't like the fact that I have to really reach over, oh, hit my head, to try to fill the oil, engine oil up. So, kind of 50-50 there. Let's go ahead and hop inside and I'll tell you what's uh, new this year in the 2019 model. Okay, let's start right here. What's new in is this new 7-inch screen. I got Apple CarPlay, I got Android Auto built into this. And so it's nice. I like the fact that I have a bigger screen. It helps when you back up. Put this in reverse. You can see more. You have a lot more visibility, and when I go through the cameras, you have a great cameras. I mean, lots of great cameras. This side camera is really nice, too, for backing in, and you can get the full width of just backing in. That blue line is for your ball, and 
a 360 degree camera. I'm a big fan of that. I think that was a great change this year and really keeping up with um, the big screens everybody else is putting out. I'm a big fan of the sound system. Yeah, they went with this Fender sound system in here. This is new for 19. And uh, it sounds great. It's, it's a good sounding system. It makes it feel like more of a premium truck in here, and I'm a big fan of that. Now this sound system has what Panasonic is calling acoustic motion control. Yeah, I looked that up. It is uh, diminished speaker vibrations and door rattles from the speakers in the door. So I guess the way it plays and it uses motion control. Anyways, it sounds better. Let's just go with that. Um, this also has rear door alert. So if you open the back doors and you use the truck and then you go drive off somewhere and you get out, it'll alert you that you left something in the back. This is the children thing, right? Because we're too much of dumbasses. We keep leaving our children in the back of these cars and they keep dying. Yeah, that's what that's for. So as I said on the outside, you have the Pro 4X package, you have the stickers, you have the uh, black front tow hooks, two-tone paint on the body side, gloss metallic black paint on the grill surround, and high gloss gray front lower fascia and rear bumpers. So it's basically the monochromatic front end, which I don't really like, honestly. Um, I think some chrome up there, some two different two-tone colors would look a lot better. Make it stand out. Make your badge stand out. Make your name stand out. It's just me. Uh, inside, we have the uh, driver eight-way power seat, driver power lumbar support. We have the stain-resistant seat color covering with a vinyl bolster and Pro 4X embroidery. Leather wrap, steering wheel with unique contrast stitching, metallic interior. they got a lot of stuff. Look, it, it, it's got the Pro 4X stuff on it. It's got some emblems on it. It's got some cool floor mats. I got some really good storage, and I'll flip this around and show you some of the, the chrome that goes along the sides here. Really nice storage here, really nice storage. Easy push button for four-wheel drive. Uh, easy big button for the lights, which is interesting. Easy to turn, too. Um, and I have my lock, rear locker there, I have hill descent, descent control, cargo lamp, and I have some trip odometer stuff there. I have my, so I have my parking alerts and traction control, and then all the way over here, I have my heated steering wheel. That's kind of, I just don't care for that. Um, I have two USBs up here, which is great. I have a trailer brake controller, which is great. I have heated and cooled seats, which is great. I mean, lots of good features. Uh, the only really interesting thing for me is that I have these really big knobs here, then I have really kind of small knobs as you go up to the volume and for the tuning, which I've always not liked. Um, I have a really good amount of storage in here. This actually fits a 15-inch laptop in the case down in here. This is huge. So a really good, nice amount of storage. Now, if you didn't know, the Pro 4X is really meant for, well, off-roading. It's meant for going off the beaten path like I am. I'm here in the family farm and driving on the off-road kind of farmer field we have set up. And uh, this is really where it excels. This is what it's meant for big tires, Bilstein shocks, front skid plate. I mean, this is the fun you want to have with this. You don't have to drive it like this, but this is really what it's meant for. So why not have some fun? Now, I typically love V8 engines, but I wish there was something else I could do with this engine note. It just doesn't sound that throaty. So let me go ahead and play it. And I can show you it. You can hear, excuse me, you can hear the sound. So see what I mean? So that's kind of one of my bad things. One of my five is that I love the V8 engine. I think it's a great engine. I think that it's got a lot of power. I think they could tweak the torque a little bit, maybe a little more horsepower. But overall, no complaints. Rather go V8 than anything else these days. But I really would think that in this package, they could come up with an aftermarket exhaust system, sign a deal with somebody, and offer a really throaty V8. You know, if you got it, use it, make it sound awesome. It's a simple thing, I think. All right, I'm going to get on this dirt road and head home. One of the things that people don't always think about with off-road trucks like this is that how much nicer they ride on dirt roads. You know, this, these off-road shocks really make a difference. Going over washboards, going over situations where you have kind of dips in the road and, and uh, uneven, uneven conditions, uneven road conditions, get official like. But it does a really good job. And so, so for those wondering, I did that towing out here to the farm. That trailer is exceedingly heavy and it's terrible to tow. Um, I got about 10 and a half mile per gallon. Telltale, I said the triple odometer. I reset, which isn't very good. This truck is rated at 17 combined, 15 city, 20 highway. That's quite a bit drop off for the towing. I didn't expect that. I expected a little bit better. 
Okay, so made this video long enough already. Let's go through my top five things I like and top five things I don't and kind of recap these. So that way you know exactly what to get from this video. Okay, let's go through number five things I like about this truck. Is number one, I do like mechanicals. I do like the engine. I, I like V8 engines. I think it could be, I said, it's always a caveat with me, a little bit far more powerful, but it's a good engine overall. And this is a pretty solidly built truck. I've driven it quite a bit. I've driven across the state a few times. And it's really, in my opinion, pretty solidly built. Number two, I like the interior design overall. I like the mix of chrome. I like the mix of materials up here. Um, it's, it's still a lot more plastic than maybe I'd like, but I think it's a good looking interior. Number three, I'm loving the color. That midnight pine is fantastic. I wish there was more green trucks out there. I don't know why we don't have more green trucks. I think Nissan's very smart to offer that midnight pine. Number four, I like the new Fender audio system. It sounds pretty badass. Unfortunately, I can't turn it up for you because copyright laws and YouTube and they kill the video. But trust me, it sounds pretty badass. Number five, I like the fact it comes electronically locking rear differential. That's cool. Uh, some, like the GM products, have the automatically locking. They don't, you can't control it. Other ones don't even have it, like Toyota Tundra TRD Pro looking at you. You have no locker at all. So I do like the fact it comes electronically locking rear differential. That's pretty cool. Let's go with the five things I just don't care for in this truck. Number one, it's gotta be the exterior design. I remember talking to the exterior designer when I met him in California, or no, Arizona. Sorry, too many trips. Um, and I just don't care for how they slanted the windshield. You know, I, I think if they would change the windshield up and change the bumper up a little bit, make the bumper more profound, again, small little tweaks, I think it'd make a huge difference in this truck. Number two, I don't like how Nissan recycles buttons, in my opinion. The, as I showed you, the four-wheel drive button is huge, the lights button is massive, but yet the volume button for the radio is really tiny. I don't understand it. It seems to me like the volume button on the radio would be just as big as the light button, or actually be vice versa. So the radio button be big, light button be small. That's just my opinion. Got a wave of people driving by. Number three, I don't really care for the price. This is $54,000 worth of truck, and frankly, it doesn't feel like $54,000 worth of truck. I feel like the interior just has, like I said, the plastic interior, I like the design of it, but the material quality and that with the floor mats just doesn't speak $54,000 to me. But never fear. I went on cars.com and did some searching before I want to talk about price. And these trucks are on average between seven dollars to $10,000 off, which puts them in the mid 40 range. I'm more of a fan of that. I think that's a better price point for this. Number four, I don't care for the egress and ingress of these doors. What do I mean by that? The back doors don't open wide enough. And so I put my golf clothes back there and I have to lift them up and move them to get them out of the way, which is kind of weird to me when I have a crew cab pickup to be able to have to move the door a little bit to get things in and out. So I imagine if I take this hunting and I put my rifles back there, I might have to adjust how I get them in and out. I just wish the doors had just a little bit more opening in the rear to allow me better access. And number five, my number five overall thing that I, I don't care for this Nissan Titan about, is just a lack of things, right? So. They've done a great job this generation by introducing more variety of cab configurations. They have the most they've ever had. They have king cab, they have crew, they have, uh, what's it? Crew cab, king cab, and, and regular cab, or single cab, whatever they call the thing. And so they offer a lot of bed configurations, different things, and they've offering a lot more options. But again, you still have the V8 or you have the 5.0 liter Cummins and the XD. So you only have that option. You don't have a whole lot of rear axle options. You just don't have a lot of options when it comes to the powertrain choices. You only get those choices which I think that's just, I don't know. I think they could offer more choices there. And I wish they'd offer more innovation. I really felt like after a year on Marketplace with this truck, that it felt old. It felt like it is outdated real fast. And that's unfortunate. You know, the interior just feels dated right away. Uh, the, ex the bed, there's not a lot of technology back there. They have some inside bed storage, which is like the Ram boxes, but those are plastic and you kind of screw them in the insides and whether you get them or not, it's kind of one of those things. I just wish they did some more innovation. Do some RAM boxes, do some unique uh, storage options. And the old Titan, they had that really interesting storage that was in the rear bed, uh, along the bed of the, of the side of the bed. That was different. I was a fan of something different. I was a fan of trying something different. Um, I also, like I said, I also wish there was a better sounding exhaust. I wish that that would, again, just more options. Give me more choices. I'm ready to spend some money on the Nissan Titan Pro 4X, but I want to have a better sounding truck and I want to have more engine choices and I want to have a little more innovation to get in and out of the bed. 
So again, I don't think it's a bad truck overall. I think, you know, I, there's some certain challenges to it and I think they're addressing those. I, the Rocky Ridge truck, which I'll link above, really addresses some of the exterior design stuff and really makes it look really beefy. And so I think that's the direction they could head in and do a really great job with this truck. So there you go. There's my thoughts on the 2019 Nissan Titan Pro 4X as I drive home. And see, I'm driving on the paved roads and it rides pretty smooth. So it's, you're not that far off, guys. So there you so, so let me wrap this up before I keep talking all day long, which, well, that can happen. So make sure you find us on Pickup Truck Talk. Hey, the other hand, Pickup Truck Talk. Uh, Pickup Truck Talk, three words, dot com. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, Pickup Truck Talk. Again, same three words. Really complex for you. And uh, you know what? As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.